Every year, Christchurch Boat Club sends a women's and men's coxed four to go race in the head of the Charles Regatta in Boston. This year, I was lucky enough to be part of that team. There are some boats coming across the water. I think they're practicing the course. So they've got a cox in the back and then there are four people rowing. We are just walking into brunch at the moment. It's the Saturday. Um, so there is some racing going on, but we're racing on Sunday. Yeah. These are one of the bridges that we're going under. So the whole course is about the, 5k. The Anderson Bridge. Yeah. Um, so yesterday we practiced the course and tried out our boat, um, which yeah. we've rented over here. And it's a really nice very, very new nice. one. Um, like probably one of the nicest boats I'll ever get to row in. The weather is gorgeous. Uh, like the views. Um, it's so sunny, so really, really warm. And like, the food here is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so we're in Harvard Yard now, um, which I think like is the quintessential like Harvard campus. Um, it's really nice. Yeah. Uh, it's lovely. Like the Legally Blonde scene is like filmed here. That was cool. Harvard's currently the oldest university in America. Mm. We're probably only like 200 Like 200 years. or something, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it's, oh, it's pretty And then later on, day. we're going to go watch the races. Um, so yeah, going to... One of our coaches is actually racing get to watch Ole. single skulls. That'd be so cool. Yeah. Coming out of the bridge, overtaking. Look how much that young thing at the back. I don't want that. Yeah, they are young people. Why, is this, why do all the crews have 150 off there? Because they're light rails. Oh, that's, that's what I mean. That's, yeah. that's Texas. Oh, I know that. Yeah. 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 Like Colin with the sea yeah. 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 Right by the edge of the river, and there are loads of schools selling like loads of kit, that sort of thing, food. It's really, 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 really busy. Now he comes to some high school. Good. Very, very, very busy though. This is lightweight men coming through now, and we're waiting for number 16. And then it's the house charm, vice charm. Let's go, Pete! His voice is so good. So number three has come out second, so they've been taking number two. Who is? Over there. You can do it! Oh, it's all in the Make sure we don't miss it. He's going to be here. He's going to be here somewhere. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. We want to look for 16. Come on, come on. 10 is here. Okay, 10 is here. 12 is here. 17 is here. Okay, so we're 16. Yes, see! Oh, no, no, no. We can't see him. 15 is here. It must be. Unless he's had a few. How are we feeling for the race? Excited. Pumped up. Nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Very nervous. We had a strategy talk though. Mm -hmm. so You're welcome. I think we're ready to go. We've got it sorted. This is our cock simmy. Hey. The perk of rowing <laughs> is how much you get to eat. Mm -hmm. You can't sell that as the only selling point. You get really fit and all you guys look really good as well. I, I think our bodies are so used to one rowing time in the UK and then flying mm -hmm. over here for just a few days. It's like, it's sick. It was like with our alarm. I would set my alarm for like a couple hours later and I just wake up at 6 a.m. and just be like, hi, I'm up. Like, yeah. Let's go do something. And it's like everybody in the house is asleep. <laughs> yeah. Even on the days where it, in Oxford, where like we have the morning off, I'm still awake and like ready to go at like 8. Mm. I think that's a good thing though because I feel like productive. No, I'm always so frustrated <laughs> afterwards because like I could have slept until 10.30. <laughs> Yeah. This is like the first year ever that I managed to like get up and do work before I go to my nine a.m. Oh yeah. Like, such a boss. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to last. Yeah. It was so like rain because of the dinner and I'm pumped for our dinner tonight. Oh my gosh. I want to know what the menu is. Yeah. yeah. Is it going to be like fancy? Mm. I think the coolest thing that is like yeah. most of us in the boat. Like you, when did you start coxing? Like. I about four times before the tour started and then I oh yeah so like less than a year yeah and like you guys and Anna started rowing together in summer eight so that was like yeah about a year ago and I started last year as well and like now we're here it's like the most insane thing ever yeah. I started in Trinity of first year as well and I felt mm. like that was good because it meant that I had like a term or two to like 
there was, it wasn't right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's so nice that, like, I wouldn't have met you otherwise because yeah. Ashley's at Kellogg. Um, and, like, you make friends in other years, which is really cool. In other, other, um, other fields, so, like, you study math, yeah. history, you're medic, environment. Yeah. I remember when I started and I was like, just like I was just a fresher, and I remember thinking that W one was like the most like alpha group of females that I'd oh yeah, <laughs> they were like, <laughs> like so A type, really really lovely, but they were all such like like high powered like role model women. Mm. Like quite a few of them were grads or like they were older years. Well, I guess they were older, stronger. Yeah. Um, and I loved that. They were really cool with people. And now that's us. <laughs> Also, it's nice that Christchurch actually we've got like two girls who are trialing for blues. Mm. Um, they they started rowing at Christchurch, like they went to. Rowing. Yeah. So if you want to, you can. Go yeah, it's that. not like an exclusive thing that like you have to have done it before to be able yeah. to like do it now. But with women, I I've, I've always sort of loved how you can learn how to row at Christchurch, like from not knowing anything, and then go trial for blues. Like, yeah. Like yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. I, I know I'm not Elise, but I like no, the yeah. idea that it's possible. No, it is possible. And okay. the best thing about rowing? This is our captain. Hey, I think the best thing about rowing is that when you're in Oxford, it can feel like it's all about being inside in the library or in the lab. And it gives you a chance to get outside and meet some people and stay active. And I think mm. that's the best thing. Yeah. Definitely. And like being in a team. Yeah. It's so nice. Getting to know people from outside your year as well. Yeah. So if you're an undergraduate, getting to know postgraduates. Yeah. Um, and the other way around as well. I feel like it's a real sense of community that you might not get if you just go for a run. Mm. Nice. Thanks. And then, look, okay, so it's race day. We're racing in like, voting in an hour. And we're just going to go to Cliff. We've got like a pop up stand. And then they're giving out like free Cliff bars. And also like energy gel shots, which have caffeine in them, which is supposed to like increase your pain threshold. So we're gonna get some of those, have pre race. Up from Cliff, we've got a Luna bar, dark chocolate hazelnut, some energy shots, this has got 25 milligrams of caffeine, and this has got 50, it's mocha flavoured, and then we've got this massive protein bar, so that might be my post-race snack. All of it's free! <laughs> yes. Christchurch, Oxford. So this is uh, the way Oxford and Cambridge work, is they have crews from each of their colleges, um, and they are wholly distinct from the blue crews. And this uh, Christchurch finished third place in the head of the river bumps this fall in Oxford, and it's great to have them here. 23. Best exciting thing is this is Quincy Market. Yeah, that's right. And there are just so many food places. So much food. Inside. Wait, Oh, look at those. Fresh squeezed lemonade. Um, pizza, clam chowder, which is what Boston is not well known for. Tickets sold in 72 minutes. All 269 seats for all the games that season. Gone in 72 minutes. All those people who waited unfortunately couldn't get a ticket. Uh, it was really unfortunate for them. So we sat here in the airport. Uh, how did the race go then? Uh, yeah, it was really good. Really good conditions. Um, our time was like 21 minutes, which I think we we're really pleased with. Um, and I think like we just did ourselves proud. I think we were just really happy with like how we did in ourselves, so it was really good. And the guys did also very well as well. They got a time of 18 minutes, which was a lot faster than any of the practice yeah, ones Yeah, it was we'd like, like 18.03, and we were aiming for like, we'd, we'd be happy with under 19, so yeah, yeah really good. 
And so we just spent the whole day exploring Boston. We went to the Fenway Park Stadium, which is a baseball stadium. Yeah, home um, of the Red Sox. And now we're at the airport, ready to go back. We'll land at about seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> And then we have to go to lectures on very little sleep. And I've got so much work to catch up on, but it's been a great trip.